Welcome to Chickenlandia. I am the president of Chickenlandia, and today I'm gonna show you a quick and easy chicken hack that's gonna help you fix that muddy chicken run. It's easy. Oh, it is cold, obviously. It's cold, I've got my puffy, vest on and my hat. This weekend, my friend Julie and her kiddo Annika came in and they really helped me clean up the chicken coop. It looks great. And they also replaced my hose. I have been operating without a hose <laughs> for like a month. The other one, it was just completely, I, I don't know if the chickens pecked at it or what because we came back from vacation and there was like a big hole in it. <laughs> we needed to replace it and then the one I got didn't fit and blah, 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 blah. So I got a new hose and it's actually really good. I'm gonna show it to you. So this hose is drinking water safe. It's really flexible. It's really light and I really like it. I've never had a hose that was so light. I think it's alien technology. <laughs> That's the only explanation. Okay, I am just gonna be real with you guys. Since I started teaching about backyard chickens, every year I get the same question. How do I handle mud in the chicken run? And I have always struggled with this question because to be really honest, I am also dealing with mud and I had tried a few things and they really didn't work. And so I didn't feel confident like telling somebody, okay, this is how you do it when it didn't work for me. So I've been searching and searching to find something that actually works for mud. And last year was like, it was it, I had had it because it was so muddy last year. And I know with the amount of rainfall we are likely gonna get this year, and we've already gotten, because I live in the Pacific Northwest, it rains a lot, that it was gonna be even worse this year. So I was like, oh my gosh, I have got to fix this problem. A permanent solution would be to get someone in here to help me with the drainage issues I'm having here in Chickenlandia. Obviously, this is a quick fix. It's not a permanent fix, but it has really helped me this year. And so I wanted to share with you guys about it. And then you can also let me know if you have some ideas on how to deal with the mud in your chicken run, then definitely let me know. You can put your ideas down in the comments, but I'm gonna show you what has worked in Chickenlandia. have told me, use sand. Sand drains very well. You can just rake it up when it gets dirty. You can rake out the poop. I have not found that to be true. Um, I do know that some people really love it. Some people really like sand to use sand in their coops. Some people really love to use it in their run. In my experience, the one time that I did use sand, it got hard and it got stinky. I think because it rains so much here, using sand has not been a great experience for me. So I'm done trying to do that. For me, what I have found to actually be a great quick fix is using pine pellet bedding. And I'll show you what that looks like. I just got a bag of it from my local farm store. All it is is just pelleted bedding. You can use it for horses. You can use it for chickens. You can use it for dogs. Since it's pine, it helps with odor because mud will stink. Mud in a chicken yard will really stink and nobody wants that. So the pine helps to neutralize that odor and the pine bedding is also very absorbent. And I was kind of worried about that part of it because I was like, well, it's so absorbent, it's just gonna break down and then it's just gonna be like this gooey mess in my chicken yard. But that's actually not what happened. 
when it rained the first time after I put it down, it did break down completely. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is just gonna be a mess. But it wasn't, it was just this absorbent material that kept the mud from forming. And I will show you what it looks like. So underneath, this is playground wood chips. But if you look underneath it, this is, this is the pellets and it's been broken down. That's not food. <laughs> That's not food. <laughs> they don't try to eat it. She just thinks I have food. This is Higby. I don't know how old she is. I think she's probably nine or 10, eight or nine, eight, nine or 10. So last year, this was just completely mud. Nothing but mud and just awful mud awful awful mud i had been having a huge problem over here with a lot of moisture building up so what i did i put a fairly thick layer of the pellets and i also put on top of it some of the playground wood chips and since these are playground wood chips they're not real splintery or anything i was kind of worried about my duck's feet ducks get bumblefoot really easily so I didn't want to risk that, but these wood chips were on sale at our local grocery store and Julie sent me a message. She's like, there's playground wood chips on sale. Do you want them? And I was like, yes. It, it has just been, it is, it's been a total turnaround in terms of mud this season versus last season. And I'm super duper happy about it. And I thought, you know, I've really got to share that. And I'm so grateful to Julie and Annika who came in and helped me. It's hard for me to move the big bags of like wood chips and, and pine pellets and all that. So they came in and they helped me put everything down and it really worked. Some of you have been asking about our new foster doggy. His name is Zeus. He is a tiny little hairless chihuahua. He's maybe four pounds. <laughs> and um, we got him about two weeks ago. He is has had a very rough time in life. He very obviously has experienced some extreme neglect. At this point in his life, it's like, I just want him to feel safe. So we're really hoping to keep Zeus. We absolutely love him. My youngest son has really bonded with him and he actually trusts my youngest son, the little Prince of Chickenlandia, which has been amazing. He's a real cutie. So for those of you that were asking, that's what's going on with him. You guys, it's cold. It's cold. Like it was 28 degrees this morning. <sighs> I'm getting used to it. It's hard for me. I really like warm weather. I miss the summer, but I'm doing okay. My chickens get me through it. 